Your finger become pruny when you stay for a very long time in the water and pickles or jeruk. These are a few examples that is caused by the process of osmosis. In this pre-lab experiment 3, we are going to discuss the concept of water potential and see the changes in the weight of potato strips. In the introduction, the first question asks why the cell membrane is a selective permeable membrane or semi-permeable. Cell membrane is selective permeable because only selected materials can pass through the semi-permeable membrane. Movement of molecules across the cell membrane is controlled or selected by the phospholipid bilayer and transmembrane protein. Small and non-charged molecules can easily pass through the semi-permeable membrane, while charged molecules and large molecules need the help of transmembrane protein to pass through the phospholipid bilayer. So only certain materials can easily pass through the uh, permeable membrane, semi-permeable membrane. The second question asks for the definition of osmosis in terms of water potential. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules, where the water molecules move from a higher water potential region to a lower water potential region through a semi-permeable membrane. And osmosis do not require any energy, and because of that, it is a passive transport. The formula for water potential is where we add the pressure potential with the solute potential. Solute potential look at the amount of solute added to the water and pressure potential look at the pressure exerted by the wall or air on the water. The symbol for water potential, we have the psi symbol and the unit for water potential is Pascal or PA for short. The Water potential for pure water uh, is zero kilopascal because it has zero solute. And as we add solute into the water, the water potential will decrease. As you can see here, pure water contains zero solute. That is why it is a zero kilopascal water potential. As we add the solute, as the amount of solute increase, the value of water potential will decrease. This is because as the solute increase, there is less free water in the uh, solution. So that is why the value of the water potential decrease because there are less free uh, water molecules. And this question asks to show the movement of water based on the water potential. We need to look back at the definition of osmosis where water molecules move from a region of higher water potential to a region of lower water potential. Thus, the water will move from left to right. For tonicity, you need to determine whether the water in each region is hypertonic, isotonic or hypotonic. Between region A and B, A is hypotonic compared to B as water leaves the region A into region B. And the same between region B and C. So the water from region B will leave and enter the region C. That is why the solution B is hypotonic compared to C. The second part of the prelab is the experiment part. Uh, in this part, we will look at what we're going to do and what data we're going to analysis in the experiment. For question one, it asks for the uh, variable for the experiment. So we need to look at the objective and as well as the procedure of the experiment. Here is the learning outcomes or the learning objective for the experiment. For the constant variable, we have the uh, initial length of the potato strip. Okay, we will use uh, the same length for each potato strip that is uh, 2 cm or 3 cm. 
For the manipulated variable, we will have a sucrose solution molaritis. Okay, so we will uh, leave the potato strip in different sugar concentration to determine whether the solution, uh, the sugar solution is uh, isotonic, hypotonic or hypertonic to the potato strip. So that is why the manipulated variables is the sucrose solution molaritis. For the responding is the, our result. The changes of length in the potato strip. We can use the changes of length or the changes of weight of the potato strip. So we determine the changes in the length of potato strip. In this experiment, we will have two graph and in question number four for the pre-lab ask you to sketch a graph to sketch the two graph graph one plotted for the changes in weight or length of the potato strip against the mona, uh, molarity so as the molarity increase the changes of the weight will decrease so you will have a straight line graph like this from this graph we can look at how at the above x-axis the changes of the weight is positive means that the potato strip increase in weight thus the water move into the cell causing the weight of the uh, potato strip to increase thus this solution is hypotonic the molarity for this is hypotonic while below the x-axis the weight of the potato decrease means that the water move out of the cell thus the molarity for this solution is a hypertonic to the potato strip And from this graph, the point where it crosses the x-axis is the point where the uh, solution is isotonic because the, the changes of the weight is zero, means that there is no changes of weight. So this uh, point, this molarity is isotonic to the potato strip. The second graph is plotted by referring to the table 3.2 in the lab manual. You will have the graph that will look like this, directly proportional. The graph is used to determine what is the osmotic pressure of the potato cell. How? By getting the molarity that is isotonic to the potato cell in graph 1, so we have the molarity here that is isotonic to the potato cells, and then we can determine the, uh, we can do a cross mark here, and then we will be able to determine the osmotic pressure of the potato cell. And after the experiment, we can see how the potato strip inside the hypotonic solution will become turgid and hard. But the potato strip in the hypertonic solution will become uh, flaccid, plasmolized, and uh, become more softened.